channel today we are going to discuss part 5 of java se programmer 10808 mcqs and just for your knowledge on my channel i have cheat sheet available for this exam tips and tricks available for this exam mcqs available for this exam so if you are going to attempt this exam you will find multiple study material on my channel and that is for free so do you know visit my channel and check out them so let us just get started without further delay so over here we have a question that says what will be the output of the following code the code goes like private class java tutorial public static void main string args string a equals to hello then we are trying to print a substring from 0 to 1 so h, h is at 0 and 1 has e so we have four options over here will it give a compilation problem or it will give string index out of bound exception it will print h or e so over here the first thing that you should notice is the class class is declared as private so in java we can have multiple classes but only one class can have the main method inside the package and the class that has main method cannot be private it has to have some different uh, like it, it can be public or something like that it cannot be private that is the reason this code will give compilation error if this private wouldn't have been here in that case you know the code would have ran and we would it would have printed h so over here i have also attached a screenshot where you can see for yourself that the code didn't run and it gave a compilation problem moving ahead to question number two consider we have a following setup in the code we have an interface a and then we have class b implements a okay which of the following is incorrect we have to figure out which of the following way of creating a new object is incorrect so over here just understand b is a class a is an interface and over here this obj is name of the object so over here if you see option a we are trying to create a new a that means we are trying to create an object out of an interface which is incorrect okay option number b and c will work fine because we are trying to create objects out of the class b which is possible now i'll give you an explanation of each one of them a obj equals to new and we cannot create objects out of interface a obj new b this particular thing you will see in multiple questions where there is an interface and then there is a class and the class is implementing the interface in this case the object obj will only be able to access methods that belong to class a and are implemented with a body in class b here it's a mistake i mentioned the interface a so any method which only belongs to class b won't be accessible by object b obj why because over here we are using we are asking java to create an object keeping in mind that the object will access methods that are present in both of them a and b if they are only present in b then obj won't be able to access them and over here the last one b obj equals to new b this is simply creating object of class b that's it basic creation moving ahead to another question which of the following are invalid invalid creation of variables so we are trying to create multiple variables on line one two three four the first variable that we are trying to create is of type short and we are passing the value 5.5 then we are trying to create a variable of int b that is again 5.5 then we are trying to create a variable of type double c again passing 5.5 string g equals to 5.5 but in double string so over here i have used a same number and i'm providing the same number to short int and double now in this question multiple answers are correct so if you will notice the first one if we will see short a equals to 5.5 line 1 here we are trying to save a decimal point value in a short variable which is 
invalid so in typecasting what happens is you can save a variable type whose size is equal to or less than the variable type you have defined so 5.5 size is much bigger than the memory location we have for a short variable so option number line 1 is invalid this is very big for short you know variable type you can consider putting a brick inside a ring holder then we have int b again this is invalid because we are trying to save a decimal point value into int variable which is not possible for double it is valid in double we can pass decimal variables and again for string it is valid because 5.5 will be considered as a string not as a number okay moving ahead to another question we have a method public void add then we have kept some space and then we have added io exception so it is asking that what keyword you should add that the method will throw an exception so this question is just added for you to learn the keyword that we use in method declaration in java so that java understands that okay fine now i have to throw an exception if i see io exception thing so in this case there's no explanation it's straight forward throws keyword is used while method declaration this is a method declaration which is likely to throw an exception while execution basically we try to give hint to java that if this code something goes wrong throw an exception now another question which of the following are valid statements okay so inside this system dot out dot print ln true equal equals to true in this case what we are trying to do is we are trying to compare two boolean values using double equals which is which is doable like even on the left hand side there's a boolean and even on the right hand side there's a boolean then we have second option system dot dot out dot print ln and we are trying to negate the boolean value true this is also something that will work in this case if you will try to see the question properly i'm trying to use operators with boolean values and only those statements will run which are compatible with the operators so double equal to is compatible with boolean not is compatible to boolean not equal to again an operator used to compare, uh, compare is compatible with boolean so all these three will work then over here we are trying to put true plus plus we are trying to use a increment operator which won't work with boolean values so in this case our question ask which of the following are valid statements what we have to answer we have to select all the statements that are valid so option number a is valid option number b is valid option number c is valid option number d is invalid we cannot use increment and decrement operators with boolean values so yeah these are the three correct options okay now this is the end this is the explanation that is given this is the end of the video i will be discussing further next mcqs in next video i hope this was useful for you and you were able to understand the concept that i was trying to tell you if you want a bunch of exam related java oca mcqs 
it is available on my udemy channel in which i have created the blueprint exams for you which you can practice and give your exam thank you for watching